Good evening guys, welcome back to Haunting Hunters HQ. Tonight we're in an abandoned care home in North Wales, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. This place is like they've just got up and left. There's stuff still in here, beds, chairs, everything, even personal belongings, which is a shame. Tonight I'm here with, here with I Conjure Paranormal and also Louis De Vlogs. Obviously, their links will be in the description down below. So, we've come here tonight. Is it haunted? Let's find out. Let's go. Right, guys, so we've uh, full split up. We're trying to cover this place. Um, so, we've full split up. I've come down into, I presume it would have been a wing at one point. Um, Louis de Vlogs has gone over the other side into the main old bit, and Chris and Kim have gone up the other way, right down the other end. So we've literally all split up. It is dusk, it is not dark as yet. Um, we're trying to hit as many locations as we can. A uh, bit of a Wales road trip. So it is still a bit light outside, but the paranormal doesn't stop for the darkness. It goes on in the light. So I'm up to it on my own. As you can see, I'm walking around in here. There's still beds in here. I just thought this one was behind me now. Sheep outside, it is still light, guys. You know, there's still Zimmer frames, there's people's belongings in here still. Wardrobes, beds. Absolutely still everything in here, which is crazy. And a shame. And a shame. You know, if this was people's Possibly the last places of rest. You know, the possibly the last room that they'd have been in. You know, so it's quite sad, to be honest. But we should see, is, is there anything haunting here? Anybody that misses being here, loved being here? Let's find out. I shall turn the spot off and we shall start investigating. So, if there is any spirits here now, my name's Simon, I come with Love and Light, I've come here today to communicate with you. If there is anybody here with me now, can you knock or bang on something? If you're able to, or you're quite willing to try and communicate in any way you can with me at all. There is a microphone on the camera that might be able to pick up your voice or any sounds that you could possibly make. You can hear the birds outside, which is quite nice. I'd love to hear your voice if we can. If you would willing to, and you'd like to, by all means, I don't mind you communicating with me. Down that corridor, you could throw something if you like. Bang on something. Can you let me hear your voice? Did you used to reside here? Did you love being here, out in the countryside? Sitting in your chair, looking out the window? Is that something you miss? Could you knock or bang on something for me to acknowledge I'm here? Could you knock or bang on something for me to acknowledge I'm here? Can you do this for me?
Could you copy that for me? It's very heavy in here. Really heavy, but it's one thing I always find with care homes, especially when things are left in here. It's obviously it's a sad, sad place really, and it's always a heavy and sad feeling I find. And it's a shame, and it's knowing people have been left here, and it literally looks like they've got up and left. To be honest, there's still personal belongings. You know, we try and protect things like that. We don't want people seeing names or anything like that. But you know, it's sad. It really is. To see places like this shut down, was it because there was just no funding or was it because of malpractice or just basically neglect and they just didn't care about the, you know, the people that were here, which is a shame. Were you happy here? Well, the bird is. Did you enjoy it here? Or did you not enjoy it here? Did you not like it here? If there is somebody here, could you, I'm not asking you to perform, but if you are here, could you knock or bang on something for me to acknowledge me? Could you show yourself to me? Obviously, if the building is haunted and somebody still resides here, you're going to be here in the daytime as well as night time. But it's a real heavy feeling in there. It is really heavy. Don't be shy, come and talk to me. Tell me your story, tell me your name. Do you miss being here? Pictures and everything just make it so uneasy. Could you tell me what room you're in? That's a door behind me, guys. Could you tell me what room you're in, please? I'm not feeling anything as yet, no. I just know if it happens, it's going to happen and scare the absolute crap out of me. Well, this will be a weird one. If you are here, at some point somebody probably would have used that Zimmer frame. 
could you move that for me? Oh my God, if that starts moving, I'm bloody gone. Could you move it slightly for me? It'd be amazing. Just the slightest, if you could, or even tip it over, would be epic. And I would actually leave you forever. I would leave this place knowing you're here. Maybe not got energy. Or it'll do it when I'm not looking, which will be typical. I'm not asking you, like I've said before, I'm not asking you... In fact, was that there before? I'm going to have to check the camera. Because I haven't moved it and it looks like it's further in for some reason. I'm not asking you to perform. I would just like you to communicate with me in some way, hopefully, to prove there is an afterlife. Spirits do exist. And possibly you could help me show that, please. If that's okay. I think I might try, um, I think I might actually try to do some necrophonics. I'm just thinking where shall I put the camera and you can see me. Well, there's a metal chair, so that might be the best place for me to sit on that isn't mouldy and smelling a wee. Right. I'll just make sure you can see me guys. I might have to adjust it a little bit, but yes I will. Let's try that. Let's try that, that should be better, that's better. Hopefully, you'll hear the sound of the necrophonics. One thing I will point out guys, I am on my own. We've all split up different parts of the building. I can't hear anything. If I be quiet now, you can't hear anything. Apart from the birds outside. You know, you can't hear a cousin come calling out, you can't hear a banging, you can't hear footsteps. So anything that happens in this room is real. And you can see me as well, if anything. Right. Bang me head. So if there's any spirits here with me now, can you communicate with this device to me, please? Did you used to live here? Can you show yourself to me, please? What's your name? I'm on my own, so don't be afraid of trying to communicate with me. Can you tell me your name? Are you alone here? Are you far and you're alone? Do 
do you miss it being a busy place? Hello? Can you tell me your name? My name's Simon, what's yours? Would you like to tell me yours? Do you miss being here? Or did you not like it here? Can you bang on something for me? Or if you've got the energy, can you slam the doors, please? Okay, no. Really bad energy in here for some reason. Can you tell me the year you died if you passed away here? Could you, could you tell me, is this your room? Is this your room? I'm going to stop that, guys. I think what I'm actually going to do... <coughs> right, stop to the side. I've not picked up anything there, not picked up much of any interaction, whether anything's come through the neck of phonics. If I'm honest, it's quiet, I've not had anything untowards, I've had no taps, no bangs, and nothing. Um, whether one of the other guys has, I don't know. But obviously, if there's, you know, three paranormal teams in here, you know, the spirits aren't going to mess with all three of us, are they? Well, you wouldn't have thought so. But, out of a laugh, if there is a spirit here now, can you scare Chris and Kim to death, please? Or Louis. He's on his own as well. So, you know, it's paranormal, not all the time. We come out these locations and, you know, it's... And as I said, that something's just creeped down there. Hello? Hello? I just actually heard a creaking. Oh, it always happens when you think it stopped, or hasn't even started. So, I'm actually going to move to a different part, guys. I'm not feeling anything this way at all at the minute. Oh, it's my bag. I can hear something rattling behind me, it's my bag. So, yeah, we're going to move. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna move, shall I say, to a different part. We'll meet up with other guys and we'll change it round. We'll see what's going on in another part of the building. Let's go. 30. Right, guys, I'm on my own. I've come into a room, a different one. I'm gonna try the Vox, Ghost Tube Box. Um, a bit of a different one for me. Normally sits at Necophonics, as you know, so we're going to give this a go. Hopefully, we get some results. I've got the Vempod right next to the camera, so hopefully, 
Whoa, that was old music. Hopefully, we might get something interacting. Oh, yes, that was interesting. So I'm on my own here. I've moved to a different part of the care home. I'm on my own. My name's Simon. Could you tell me your name, please? Desire. That music you're playing, is that what you, you liked? I'd like to be polite, my name's Simon. Could you tell me yours, please? I might be really down, right down the corridor. You over here? Whereabouts are you? Didn't like that. Are you sat next to me? Or am I sat in your chair? Well, hello, if you don't communicate with me. You said you're over there. No. No. Give a coin. Give a coin. Okay, I'll give a coin. I will give you a coin by all means. There's a coin. That's for you. Would you like to take it? Amen. I will leave it there for you. So I've done something for you. Could you do something for me, please? There's a device next to the camera called a vent pod. Could you set that up for me now, please? If I can. If I can. Thank you. If you can, then yes, please. If it's possible. I don't know if that was on trying. If you can, that would be absolutely fantastic of you and very nice. <laughs> Am I in your chair? Interesting. I might, try, I might just try necrophonics again. Let's stop that, let's get necrophonics back on. So I've got another device called necrophonics. It's a device that you should be able to communicate with me as well. If you could tell me your name, that would be absolutely fantastic. Leave. Why do all those people always say leave? Why? Tell me why you want me to leave.
there must be a lot of energy in this building from the people that were here. I'm getting a really heavy head. Can you not say hello to me? Just one small reply to me if you can. Or, or is it the fact that you don't want to communicate with me? There is various things in this room that you could move, knock over, chairs, tables. Could you knock one of them over for me? Have you not got enough energy? If you can, if you can set the vent pod off next to me, that'd be absolutely amazing. Asleep. Um, um, Goose tube fox. Just done a bit of them. Don't seem to be getting nothing that I can get from Necrophonic. Something did say, leave me a penny. So I did leave a penny on the table. Um, apart from that, I'm not picking up anything. We've, Louis just come in and it's, we've both said it's heavy. It's a heavy feeling. He's just been outside again to have another break. And it is a really heavy feeling on your head. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's really affecting us heads wise. And I don't know why. Maybe something is here and it doesn't want us here and it's trying to put this oh, feeling in our heads, it's horrible. Yeah. That, pe that penny thing is interesting though. Yeah. If, obviously with it being a residential home, Yeah. they would have been older people, but they would have, the old money we used to use, the old currency was. Exactly. So it asked for a penny. So that's old money. Yeah. So it could have been somebody old, which I have left it there. I shall leave it there. I don't know how long it's going to stay there for, but I have left it there, so out of respect, I'll leave it there for them. So, yeah, we're going to make a move, guys, and we're going to head on to another location. So thank you for watching this little video, and we shall see you in the next one.